Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for an introduction to pathophysiology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the basic principles and terminology. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one, which of the following terms refers to a complication or illness obtained as a result of a medical examination or treatment? And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause and think about the answer. The answer here is C, iatrogenic cause. Iatrogenic relates to illness caused by medical examination or treatment. Examples include medical errors during surgeries, during medication administration, and more. On to question number two. When the healthcare team is discussing signs and symptoms of a disease process, the student nurse knows that signs are objective while symptoms are subjective. And the answer here is A, true. Signs are objective, something observable that is not influenced by personal feelings or opinions, while symptoms are subjective, something that is typically felt by the patient and is influenced by personal feelings or opinions of the patient. Moving on to question number three. A patient presents with the following signs and symptoms, increased heart rate and blood pressure, swelling, fever, nausea, and vomiting. Which of the following is considered a symptom? The answer here is D, nausea. Nausea is subjective and is therefore a symptom. Everyone may experience nausea differently, and there is no way to measure how much nausea a given patient is experiencing. It is subjective to that patient. Question number four, smoking, nutrition, and stress are all examples of modifiable risk factors. So the answer here is A, true. Smoking, nutrition, and stress are all examples of risk factors that can be modified and changed by the patient. Examples of non-modifiable risk factors include things like age, genetics, things that the patient has no control over. And question number five, a nosocomial infection is also known as a hospital-acquired infection. And the answer here is A, true. Question number six, which of the following terms refers to the likely outcome or course of a disease? And the answer here is B, prognosis. Prognosis refers to the likely outcome or course of a disease, or the chance of recovery or recurrence of a disease. This can include whether the signs and symptoms will improve or worsen. And question number seven, which of the following terms refers to a large rise in the incidence or prevalence of an infectious disease that has spread across large regions and through continents? So this one is D, pandemic. A pandemic refers to the spread of an epidemic, a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time across continents, for example, COVID-19. And for the last question of this quiz, number eight, a patient informs you that they have had cirrhosis of the liver for the past 10 years. The nurse understands that this condition will be classified as a blank condition. And the answer is B, chronic. Chronic diseases are defined broadly as conditions that last one year or more and require ongoing medical attention or limit activities of daily living or both. And that's it for the Introduction to Pathophysiology quiz. You can check out my next quiz on Altered Somatic Function by clicking on the video here. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.